Oh. Hey there boys and girls, moms and dads, Will Roberts here, kidscasting.com. Today we're going to learn about having social media on your side as a performer, actor, model, singer, dancer. Moms and dads, get a pen and paper. Kids, you meet us in the middle. We'll be right back. Let's learn something, shall we? All right, everybody, let's get to work. So here's the deal. I hear this question all the time. Should we start social media for our kids? If they want to act, sing, dance, whatever it happens to be. And the answer to that question is absolutely. But there are some rules that you need to follow when you do this, and I'm going to give those to you, okay? But first, I got to get out of this suit. Okay, so I'm in the middle of auditions. I just got done with one. I changed. I want to be comfortable. So starting a social media profile is a great idea. I highly recommend that you try Instagram because it's very busy and the statistics are showing that Instagram is just blowing up so you want to make sure that you're represented right now there is a big difference between a regular profile and your own professional profile and moms and dads I want you to know that we're talking about a performance actor model singer dancer type of profile one of the most important things you do when you set up the profile going from the top down is you make sure that it's very clear that they are a performer, whether they're a dancer, singer, actor, model, whatever. So, in the name. A lot of times I see people putting in their names like uh, Joe Schmo 64 So why doesn't it say Joe Schmo 64 actor or model or dancer? So make sure you're very clear about your Instagram and your social media because it is your calling card. It is your testimonial to what you do best it is your elevator pitch. You can certainly use a web page and you can sign up on kidscasting.com to get one. It's absolutely free. But I do recommend that Instagram is great because it's kind of like a really full motion video, audio, pictures of what you do and how you do it and you get to decide how it looks. So one of the common things I see all the time on social media is really, really bad pictures. The fact is, is that you want to make sure that all the pictures that you are presenting of your kids look the best. That the lighting is good, that the composure is good, that, for instance, looking back at me, I would never want to take a picture. There's a guy going in the door there. I would never want to take a picture like this and present it as a professional picture because it just does not look good. Regardless of what you do with it, unless you're able to fuzz out the background and everything, it just doesn't look good. So get your pictures done right. We have a whole section on how to shoot headshots and pictures that will allow you to either not spend any money or very little money to accomplish the goal of good pictures. So here's an example. This is a great picture because you can see the full face of this person. So technically, if they're going through hundreds of these people, they might see your kid. This is not such a good picture because we have no idea what this person looks like. Make sure you follow the rules and the odds become better in your favor. Now, in regards to safety, one more thing. You don't want to put any personal information on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever it happens to be. You don't want to put phone numbers. You don't want to put uh, where you're at, where you live. You kind of want to keep it generic. Remember, this is your professional example of who you are and how amazing you are. So don't put anything in there that might compromise where your child might be or what you might be doing in your life. It's just not important. Remember your kid's age, okay? So don't take pictures that are very weird and questionable. Don't put them in sequence things to make them look like they're 25 years old. What you want to do is you want to make them authentic. Make sure that if you have comments on, because a lot of time in Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, you can have comments. Make sure that if you have them on, that you monitor those, okay? Because the last thing you want is weird stuff being said on your Instagram or your Twitter or your Facebook. Monitor that stuff. Hey, comments are great because in the comments people might put, you know, a hashtag or, or some information that's kind of cool. And comments make it look like you're actually active, which is extremely important in this business. Okay, another common mistake. People taking pictures with other people in their pictures. Now, this is not a bad thing if it was set up and it was a modeling shot and they were focusing on you alone with a product. But when you start getting into lots of people in your photos, whether it's your brother, sister, mother, whatever, we start questioning who the person in the picture is that we're supposed to focus on. With this, remember, this is a professional Instagram, Twitter, Facebook profile, and we want them to be the center of attention. Don't go crazy and start doing weird things in them with ears and, you know, and weird dog mouths. Don't do that because 
you're not going to get cast because they want to see you with the dog mouths and ears. They'll determine that when you come in. Be careful with that stuff. Don't do the weird stuff. Just do the normal stuff. All right, well, that's it. So if you have any questions, go to kidscasting.com or send us a direct message here. We'll try to answer that for you. Now, side note, final side note, don't go on to producers, directors, casting directors, industry people, stars, and say, hey, check out my kid. Don't do that because they will do everything opposite of that. They will not. They'll block you. You just need to be respectful. And if you engage with people, just engage, you're going to notice that your follower count's going to go up and your engagement's going to be really good. I personally have received a lot of audition notices and actually gotten a lot of films off of my Instagram and my Twitter. And I can tell you that it works, but you have to be very clever and you have to network, 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 and be authentic. Be authentic. All right, get out there, have fun. Kidscasting.com, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.